Hi everybody, this is Donnie Vaughn of Your School Marketing. You can find us online at yourschoolmarketing.com. I wanted to give this quick little video to showcase the answer to a question that we get asked over and over by schools, uh, businesses, organizations, ministries, all the clients that we work with. I cannot tell you how many times we get asked this question. And the question is this. Somebody contacts us and um, let's say that we've been working with them on doing a custom Facebook page, very similar to what you see there in front of you. Um, we've created this page for our own school marketing. You obviously you have the timeline photo, the profile image, but then you have these little different custom tiles here. Uh, for instance, if you were to click on one of those, you would see that you would go to, uh, this is kind of an admin level access. You wouldn't see that. If somebody's already liked the page, they would see this. And so it's a great, these custom Facebook pages give you a great way to highlight certain things about your school, your organization. Uh, and so I would encourage you to look at getting a custom Facebook page. If you're interested in something like that, go to yourschoolmarketing.com and let us know. And we can try to help you with that. But the question we get asked if somebody's working with us is, okay, Donnie, it's great that you've helped us with that. We love the way the page looks. Now, how do I get, uh, what's the login and password for the page? And I always kind of chuckle because in, you may be thinking the same thing is, what are, you, what are they talking about? A, a um, login and password that doesn't make sense. Well, exactly. It doesn't make sense because there is no such thing as a separate login and password for a Facebook page in most cases. Now, there might have been, um, let me kind of back up and say that the, the correlation is this. You have personal Facebook accounts. For, you know, you're, you're, I have a Donnie Vaughn Facebook account. That's where I have my friends and family and so forth. Well, the correlation between that account and this Your School Marketing page is I have, I have admin level access to this page but in order to have that I have to have a Facebook account a personal Facebook account so that's the only correlation is that in order to have a uh, admin level access you have to have a Facebook account now unless somebody went in and created a fake Facebook account for the school instead of you know and created a, a, a personal account and called it you know ABC and the last name was school and that was their uh, own username and password for that particular but you shouldn't do it that way here's the way you need to do that is it's correlated between your personal Facebook account and your the page but don't get that don't let that concern you to think that everybody's gonna have access to my friends and all that that's not the way it works here's how it is I'm gonna show you first off and if you're gonna be an admin uh, you have to have somebody make you an admin if you're not already in that situation so the person who is already an admin needs to go to their admin panel which is no you can click the little button right above your profile image or your timeline cover photo and it takes you to this you then go up to edit page and to admin roles now you'll see here that there are three admins a Sydney Donnie and Randy you can see down here that I can type a name or an email address now if I type a name, the person's name that I type must have liked the page already. And obviously, if you're going to have somebody that's an admin, you hope that they would have liked the page. So make sure that they have liked the page. And then secondly, um, if, the, if that doesn't work for some reason, and sometimes Facebook is a little glitchy, you can always type their email address. Now, the email address is their email address that's tied to their personal Facebook account. So if they're using their Yahoo or Gmail account, for their Facebook and their let's say their school email address is completely unrelated don't put their school uh, email address there you want to put their Gmail or Yahoo because it's trying to find a person just like it put uh, Sydney Donnie and Randy here and so once you have that correlation then you can make them an, ad an admin and there's different levels you can make them uh, you can see that here but that's how you give somebody admin rights to the page. There's no separate login, no separate password. If you need more information, go to yourschoolmarketing.com.